So let's suppose we have an object that moves along a horizontal and a constant net force acts on my object given by this vector. So we have two components, the x component and the y component. Now displacement of my object is given by this vector where we have the x component and the y component of my displacement vector. And we want to find the net work done on my object when this constant net force acts on my object. Well let's begin by plotting our two vectors f and d on the xy plane. So the blue vector is our force vector and the purple vector is our displacement vector. So we can calculate the work done, the net work done, one in two ways, one of two ways. So we can either find the magnitude of each of these vectors, find the angle separating the two vectors, and take the magnitudes, multiply them, and multiply that out by the cosine of the angle between our two vectors. But instead, we're going to do it another way. We're simply going to take the dot product of our two vectors, force and displacement vector. So we have the force, dot product, displacement. So uh, to evaluate the dot product, we essentially have to sum up of all the individual dot products. So we have 10i dot product 5i, we have 10i dot product negative 2j, we have 6j dot product 5i, and 6j dot product negative 2j. So we distribute it in the same way that we would multiply these numbers out. So we get four different values. Notice the middle values go to zero. Why? Well, because the dot product of i hat and j hat is always equal to zero because the cosine of the angle 90 separating the i hat and j hat is zero. So these two terms go to zero and I'm simply left with these final terms. So i hat or 10 i hat and 5 i hat is 50 times 1, so 50, and 6 j hat minus 2 j hat, so 6 times negative 2 is 12, and j hat times j hat is simply 1, so I have 50 minus 12, 38 joules. So whenever we have a constant net force of this magnitude acting on our object, we have the following expenditure of energy. So 38 joules of work is done on my object to displacement, to displace it this amount.